All right, another double black diamond problem here. The, the key to me here, what I look for, is the fact that I have a P outside of the square root and a P on the inside of the square root. So when this all gets said and done, we're going to have different powers of P to end up with a quadratic equation. Let's jump into it. So if we have P equals square root of 10 minus 9P, we want to get rid of that square root by squaring both sides. We can do just that. We'll get P squared equals what's on the inside of the square root, 10 minus 9p. Okay, now let's get everything to one side, so we'll add 9p to both sides. And we'll subtract 10 from both sides. Okay, and when we do that, we cancel everything on the right, and we're left with p squared plus 9p minus 10 equals 0. Like I said, we have two different powers of p, but that's okay because we can factor this quadratic. This is why you learned factoring back in the day. p here and a p here. All right, two numbers that multiply to give us negative 10 and then add to give us positive 9. So it's going to be a 10 and a 1. And the question is, okay, it's positive 9, so we'll have positive 10 minus 1. So the two p values that will give us a 0 is a p of negative 10, because negative 10 plus 10 is 0, and a p of positive 1, because 1 minus 1 is 0. Those are our two potential answers. Let's go check them. So let's start with... We'll start with 1. Does 1 equal the square root of 10 minus 9 times 1? Plugging in 1, we get 1 equals the square root of 10 minus 9. Does 1 equal the square root of 1? 1 equals 1. Yes, happy. So 1 is an official answer. Let's try negative 10. Okay, square root of, does negative 10 equal the square root of 10 minus 9 times negative 10? So does negative 10 equal square root of 10 minus 9 times negative 10, which is plus 90. So does negative 10 equal the square root of 100? Well, does negative 10 equal positive 10? Unfortunately, no. This is an extraneous solution. So p equals 1 is our only answer to this question. On to the next.